Welcome to CA Foundation QA video 66. Today we have an MCQ from the chapter of Mathematics of Finance or TVM, Time Value of Money. Let's read. Over 16 years, price of one share of AV Limited rose to 1250 rupees from 2 rupees. What is the growth rate of this investment? Growth rate is always expressed in per annum basis unless they give something else. And we want average growth rate means average of percentages. Growth rate is expressed in percentages. Now we know whenever it is percentages, rates, ratios, we use geometric mean and not arithmetic mean. Geometric mean is nothing but CAGR in this case, compounded average or annual growth rate. How do we calculate CAGR? We take starting value as PV, we take end value as FV. Then just use relationship between FV and PV. FV is equal to PV into 1 plus I, which is the interest rate or growth rate rest to n which is 16 years now if i just divide by 2 check on your calculator 625 is equal to 1 plus i raised to 16 now can i just raise both sides by 1 by 16 this also 1 by 16 so what will we get 625 raised to 1 by 16 is equal to can i cancel this why because a raised to m bracket raised to n is nothing but a raised to mn so that leaves 1 plus i that's it now, if we have 1 by 16 in the power, we can just write it as 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2, which is equal to 1 plus i. Why did I write it like this? Because we again know that, say using the same rule, a raised to m into n is same as a raised to m bracket raised to n. So can I just write it as 625 raised to 1 by 2, which is square root, again raised to 1 by 2, which is square root, Again square root, again square root is equal to 1 plus i. So on your calculator, you can just take 625 and press square root button 4 times. Check if you get 1.4953 something something is equal to 1 plus i. So if I take 1 to the left hand side, i is equal to 0.4953 or 49.53% which is the annual growth rate or CAGR. That's the correct answer.